In this video, we will discuss technology acceptance model. What is that? It is very useful model in the research field. This is also widely used model in technology context. TAM was introduced by Fred Davis in 1986. So when it is introduced, it is 1986. Let's we talk about what this model and what is about and why this model is useful in the research field. Let's we will understand more in brief. When researchers want to see why a particular person whether accept or reject particular technology, therefore we study this model to identify consumer behavior, consumer intention towards the product. The technology acceptance model is an information system. So what is that? It is an information system. TAM model shows how users come to accept and use a technology. TAM predicts people attitude while using technological as well as consider two key determinants that are perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. So TAM predicts people attitude on the behalf of two key determinants, what is the perceived useness and the second one perceived ease of use. It helps to predict individual behavior. For example, whether the consumer will accept the technology or not. If they accept, so why? However, Davis introduced these two uh, key determinants while observing consumer intention. Then first key determinant is perceived usefulness. The, what is the perceived usefulness? The degree to which a person believes that using a particular system would enhance their job performance. It means whether or not someone perceives that technology to be useful for why they want to do. Next we will talk about the PEOU that is perceived ease of use. It is the degree to which a person believes that using a particular system would be free from efforts moreover. If the technology is easy to use then the barrier is conquered. If it is not easy to use and the interface is complicated. No one has a positive attitude towards it. In short, if we will discuss about this, so we can say perceived usefulness refers to the extent and individual technical system which enhance their job performance. It means particular technology or software can how much increase productivity or performance. For instance, if a person is using a computer, is he improving his performance? If yes, how much improvement he is getting? That's why this model is useful. Perceived ease of use refer to the extent and the individual belief of technology system free of efforts. For example, if I am using a dishwasher, it means I have to put utensil into it and I will get my clean utensil without putting much efforts into that. It means how easy to use any system and how much efforts is required while using a particular technology. Let's we will understand TAM model with the help of diagram. So it's a diagram of the uh, technology acceptance model. First, here is a external variable which reflect perceived usefulness and the perceived ease of use and these bo both variants uh, are Im impacting and converting to the attitude towards using customers and this attitude will become behavior or intention of users and then the final actual system uses. In this diagram we have two key determinants that is perceived usefulness and the perceived ease of use. So first we will talk the perceived value the perceived usefulness is subjective and varied from person to person. If individuals perceive a technology as a useful and believe that it will improve their productivity, effectiveness or job performance, they are more likely to accept and use the technology. The perceived usefulness of a technology is influenced by factors such as the user's experience, personal belief and the perceived impact of technology of their work. So what is that? It is uh, experience, personal belief, user's experience, personal belief. These are the most important things in this variance that impact perceived usefulness. In summary, perceived usefulness in TAM is a subjective assessment by individual. So it is a subjective assessment by an individual regarding the degree to which they believe a particular technology will, will be beneficial in enhancing their job performance or making their task more effective. Let's we'll talk about the second variable that is the perceived ease of use. Perceived ease of use, subjective and reflective the user perception. So it is a subjective and reflective what is uh, that it is the user perception. So how easy or difficult it would be to use specified technology. If individual perceived a technology as easy to use with the minimal efforts required to learn and operate it, they are more likely to accept and use that technology. The perceived ease of use is influenced by factors such as interface system, complexity and user previous experience with similar technology. If the technology will complex, in that case, user will not accept that technology easily. In the case, uh, previously I discussed this social uh, example. I would like to add one of the examples. For example, if I want to clean my cloth uh, while using washing machine, so I don't have to put more effort while cleaning my cloth. So in that case, uh, it's very easy. It's not complex. So it's reflect on the base of system complexity and the user pre previous experience with similar technology. In short, perceived ease of use in time is a subjective assessment by individual regarding to perceived effort or difficult association with using a particular technology. It complements perceived usefulness in influencing user's attitude and behavior intention towards adopting new technology. 
and some external variable influence uh, by two primary factors are perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use so external variable influenced by these both are uh, variable and perceived usefulness also impact on the perceived usefulness behavior intention behave refer to the individual if we talk about the behavior intention which refer to the individuals a willingness or likelihood to use particular technology it is a crucial concept with time so external factor impact on perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use it converted into the towards attitude of the consumer and then its behavior intention and what is that it is referred to an individual express willingness or likelihood to use a particular technology it is a crucial concept of time so it's a crucial concept of time model actual system use referred to the real observation behavior or individual using a particular technology or information system so its actual system which it refer it refer to the real observation behavior of individual using a particular technology or information system however it is important to note that while behavior intention is good predictors it doesn't always perfectly translate into actual systems use variable external factor known as external variable or moderating factors can influence the relationship between intention and behavior these external factor include like uh, these are uh, let's we will discuss these external variable factor first is that facilitating conditions the availability of resources is support and infrastructures necessary for using the technology can impact actual uses so availability of resources and supporting infrastructure can impact of actual uses what is the subjective norms its social influence and expectation what is that it is social influence and expectation from others can affect whether an individual translate their intention into actual use Next, we will discuss perceived behavior control. What is that? The individual perception of the, their ability to control and overcome obstacles in using the technology can also play a role. Experience and familiarity. What is that? It is previous experience with similar technology and familiarity with the current system can influence actual uses. Despite the potential influence of these external factors, TAM remain a variable model. So, what is that? It means, despite the potential influence of these external factors, TAM remain a variable model for understanding and predicting user acceptance of technology. Researcher and practitioner use TAM to assess the likelihood of successful technology adoption and to identify factors that might enhance or hinder actual system use in real world setting. So it's all about technology acceptance model and it's a technology acceptance 